what you reap is what you sow. We're here at the Warrior Fight Store in Pickering, Ontario, with James the Sandman Irvin. James, you've got, come up in a lot of different organizations. What's it like seeing Affliction, Strike Force, all starting to come up now? Um, it's nice to see some organizations. You know, I was kind of disappointed to see the way the Elite XC kind of folded. You know, from the get go, I didn't think it was going to be a rogue organization just because some of the fighters they had is their, you know, their showcase fighters. It's kind of a letdown to be on live CBS and to have, you know, some of these street ballers be their main event. So I found that kind of disappointing. But, um, you know, it's unfortunate because, you know, there's just more, we need more organizations, you know, so they'll you drive the price up and, you know, the more people get into the sport, more importantly. So, you know, right now, you know, the UFC is, you know, by far the biggest. You know, they're like the NFL right now as far as we're concerned. So, you know, get to fight for them. So what's the biggest difference when you're looking at fighting for, say, IFC like you did or WEC compared to the UFC? Well, it's a gigantic. I mean, I think, you know, I see some of these guys come off this TV show and I feel kind of bad for them to tell you the truth. I mean, two fights, three fights, and they're jumping straight to these big shows. And once you fight in the big show, you don't get to come back. You know, I mean, once you fought in the UFC and that's on your record, I mean, you, know, you can't go to Gladiator Challenge or some Indian reservation and fight some guy that has one or two fights. You know, once you have the UFC coin, I mean, you're kind of screwed. And these kids are jumping on this TV show and, you know, tell you the truth, I had most to make me sick. You know, I'll tell you, tell you the truth, I had to fight my way up. Just like most guys, I had to fight my way to get in the UFC. So these guys skip on the show and jump off. But, you know, the small organizations, I think they're, you know, it's a, it's a big deal because you need to fight in front of smaller crowds, you know, with less pressure. And then you kind of work your way up. You work your way up. Then finally, you know, you get to be the UFC. Like I said, once you get there, you don't get to come back. So if you could do it all over again and the Ultimate Fighter was an option for you, would you have taken it or would you prefer to fight in front of the smaller It was offered to me. The same for season one. We went there, we met uh, Dana White, the first time I met him and Joe Silva at there. They were actually building and putting together the um, Ultimate Fighter training facility at that time. We were offered, I actually tried out for the show and I turned it down to fight on the next show. And I wouldn't change that, I wouldn't change that. Well, that's, that's excellent. Um, now, of course, after your last fight, um, there were some, some complications. Do you want to clear anything up as to what happened with with the testing? People are going to make rumors. They always do. They want to make more out of something, you know. So I mean, you know, I, you know, I'm not a dentist. You know, I don't sit behind a desk. You know, what I do is, you know, I, I hurt people. And the same thing, I get hurt a lot. So you know, I'm constantly usually, you know, the first thing you see a doctor is, you know, is pain medication. So we're, you know, it, it's a tough deal. You know, it's a tough job, and you know, I don't take any regrets, and I take full, you know. Um, you know, I'm just explaining myself on it, you know. So, you know, I was hurt and I wasn't going to turn the fight down. There's no way I was going to turn that fight down. When can we expect to see you back in the UFC? My suspension's up April 19th, so, you know, I'll fight the first card after April. It's actually rumored that the first fight in April will be in Montreal. Are you? Would you be interested in fighting in Canada? I would love to, but I just missed that date. That one's April 18th, I believe. As far as, you know, as I don't know if it's anything's in stone, so I'd be, you know, I'd be a dream come true to go fight Canada. Your first fight, who do you want to face? Oh, I'd love to fight Vanderlei. You know, there's a there's a few guys, but actually, I'm gonna try and get to 85. So I plan on fighting in April. You know, at 85, and there's a bunch of guys down there I wanna, you know, I really wanna beat up. You know, you say Vanderlei Silva. So there aren't many people who would say that. Why Why would you wanna fight uh, a guy like Vanderlei? Um, you know, I've been fighting long enough now. Where I mean, I just fought Anderson Silva, which I find much scarier than Vanderlei. I'm just taking anything away from Vanderlei. But you know, I only get up to fight you know tough guys. You know, I've trained for a long time. I've fought a lot of you know. I worked my way up those ranks. You know, I only want to fight top guys now. I don't want to fight you know any lower class guys. So every time I fight, you know, I ask for a top ten guy. And finally, before we go, enter Sandman. That that's your theme music when you come in. Is that something that actually gets you pumped up, or is that just because? You got to go with it. I don't care for it. I've never asked for it. I actually always try to turn it down. <laughs> well, I swear I always do. They always put it up there. They, you know, for the last Anderson Silva fight, you weren't allowed to pick your music because it's on live TV. And sure as hell, they you know they give me that song. So what would you go with? It's usually always something different. You know, it's usually always something different. Something that's a little harder, right? Um, it depends. You know, it depends on the mood for it. Usually, it's a new song that just came out. You know, you know how songs are. You usually kind of get sick of them. I'm no different. All right, that's James the Sandman Irving at the Warrior Fight Store in Pickering, Ontario. What you saw!